Many artifacts that are found at excavations are stone and bone tools. Now we have some replicas here that I'd like to show you. Here we have a rounded stone. It's very smooth on this end and it's been worked over here. It can fit into a hand and we know that it's been used like this in this motion. This is a hammer stone. Here we have a flat stone that's had notches chipped out on the sides. This is a fishnet sinker and would be used to weigh down nets. Here we have a tool that's made of bone. We can see it's been shaped and sharpened. This is a fish hook used for fishing. Something as simple as a deer jaw could be used to scrape kernels off of corn. So this is a deer jaw scraper. Here we have a stone that's been flattened on one side. Now this would have been inserted into a wooden handle. But after hundreds of years, the wood rots away, so oftentimes what's left behind at excavations is just the stone. This is an adze. It would be used for scraping. So if you're making something like a dugout canoe, this would be the tool for you. Here we have a flat rock bowl and a rounded river stone. Together these would be used for grinding. So if you're trying to grind something like seeds or nuts, you could use these stones. This piece of bone has been sharpened on an end. This is an awl and could be used to puncture through leather or through bark. So if you're making clothing or shoes, this might be a tool that you would use. Here we have a stone that's been shaped symmetrically given a point here. This would have been lashed in to a wooden handle and used as an axe. Even something as simple as a beaver tooth could be used as a tool. A beaver tooth was used as a scribe to decorate pottery.